Hey, what's up guys? This is Ted from Aperture, and today we're gonna show you what false color is. So if you've got a VS2 or VS3 monitor, false color is a function that'll help you determine the different brightness values on your picture. To turn on false color, all you gotta do is hit the menu button right here, go to assistant functions, go right down to false color, and hit right, and voila. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is that your picture is gonna change colors. And on the bottom here, you're gonna have a chart representing all the colors between zero and 100 IRE. Now, IRE is a way to measure brightness values. Uh, it stands for Institute of Radio Engineers, which are the people that came up with it a long time ago. If we take a look at this false color chart a little closer, we'll see here that the pink, dark pink, stands for zero IRE. So this is where we're actually picking up total, total blacks. Now, the second step there is gonna be your dark blue. Now, that is zero to 10% IRE. Now, that's generally gonna be your very, very underexposed light values. So in general, you want to avoid seeing pink and dark blue, because that generally means that your image is underexposed. Now on the high end of that, you're going to have your orange and red. Red stands for your completely overexposed blown up, so that's total white, that's 100 IRE. You can also see here, if I raise the ISO, now we're overexposed. We see all this red here, we can come out of false color, bang, all white, all overexposed. Here's all the red parts that we're seeing. So now the orange part there is gonna be all the parts of the image that are from 90 to 100 IRE. So now that we know that pink and dark blue are the bottom end of the spectrum, and we know that red and orange are the top part of the spectrum, what's this middle part? So this middle part is for all the tonal ranges in between total black and total white. This is generally where you want your image to be. So right here in the middle, I've got dark gray, pink, and regular gray. If you want to be able to capture all that detail, you want to avoid the shadows and avoid the highlights, you want to generally be in this middle range. So beyond the top and bottom and middle of the spectrum, the last two parts that you want to think about are the quarter point and the three quarter point. So right here, you're going to have your black and your yellows. And these two points here are a little bit wider IRE categories. So the black right here is 22 to 42 IRE. Likewise, the yellow is 84 to 94 IRE. The reason you want to think about the black and the yellow parts of your image is because they're kind of like warning signals. The black is going to warn you that you're almost about to underexpose, and the yellow is going to warn you that you're almost about to overexpose. So skin tones generally like to live around the 70 IRE mark. So on this chart, that would be the light gray. So if you set up your picture, turn on false color, and their face turns up light gray, that means you've exposed them perfectly. So how does false color compare to other exposure tools like histogram? The reason false color is so important is because false color will be able to give you exposure levels on an area basis. With histogram, I'd only be able to see a general overall exposure reading on my picture. So I'm Ted here from the A-Team. Make sure to like our Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube, and if you have any questions or tutorials that you want, just make sure to leave them in the comments below. We'll catch you next time.